Good morning, little chef. Welcome to day 40 of working as a chef on a yacht. Okay, we're getting close to the end of the trip with this set of guests. The last night, I'm gonna send them off with a beautiful meal, uh, which is two days away. So I need to be prepared and take out a whole snapper from the freezers, because it needs time to thaw in the fridge. All right, let's do it. Into the hole we go. I've gotta be honest here, little chef. I have not been looking forward to making this whole snapper dish. And the reason behind that is we didn't have a pan to fit these fish into. But I did get to the grocery store the other day and I found a large aluminum pan that I think will work. I took measurements of the oven and the fish to make sure, but I think all I have to do is flop the tail up and it'll be fine. I have two refrigerators on board, one that's very narrow and another one that's a bit wider. I had to clear the wider fridge to be able to house these fish. These fish are so large and they're gonna take a couple days to thaw. The owner of the yacht says he wants these prepared in a certain way that his family used to do, so he's gonna get into the galley with me and show me how it's done. As a chef on a yacht, I hate waste, so I try to repurpose leftovers in a way that the guests don't even know that they're leftovers. In the fridge, I had some leftover sausage, and last night for cocktail hour, I served bean salsa, and there was a little bit left over. So I threw those leftovers into some scrambled eggs and wrapped it up in a burrito. To add a little bit more pizzazz, I put in some guacamole, salsa, and sour cream. We're going for a Tex-Mex breakfast burrito. Typically, my leftovers will go into one of two things, a wrap or in stir fry. But that's if I'm serving guests. I don't want them to have to eat the same thing twice. With crew, we are all about the leftovers. So lunchtime is really the time that I pawn off the leftovers to the crew, but dinner time, the crew always gets a fresh meal. I wrapped up my burritos, threw them into a pan, and got them nice and toasty on each side. We also had a ton of zucchini on board that was gonna be going bad soon, so I made those into zucchini bread. In this job, I am constantly rotating inventory and making sure that I am limiting the amount of waste we have. With that said, breakfast is served. The guests went to the island for lunch today, so the only thing that I need to worry about now is cocktail hour, dinner, and dessert. We stocked up on conch when we were back in Georgetown, so I'm going to use that to make some conch salad. I like to compare conch to scallops, but they're a little tougher and sweeter. For the conch salad, you want to make sure you cut them into small cubes so they're not too chewy to eat. I used the meat from about 4 conchs and I added about 10 limes into it. The acid from the lime is going to help cook the conch. I'll also add some tomatoes, red pepper, jalapenos, and onion. Season it up and let it sit for at least two hours in the fridge. I still have a lot of limes on board that need to be used, and I saw this recipe for Brazilian lemonade. Typically, it's not an alcoholic drink, but we're gonna make it into a cocktail today. It's a unique recipe in that you put whole limes into a blender. You'll blend it up with water, condensed milk, and in my case, vodka. It's sweet, it's limey, it's creamy, it's everything you want. The guests were out back in this giant floaty attached to the yacht by a rope. To serve them, I had to grab the rope, pull them in, serve them their drinks, and push them back out. They loved the first round of cocktails, but I don't have enough limes to make the same exact one. We're trying to stick with the same vibe, so we're still sticking with vodka and condensed milk. I threw in some fruit that I had in the freezer. I had kiwi, dragon fruit, and pineapple, threw in my condensed milk, and my vodka. There were a ton of seeds from the dragon fruit and kiwi, so I strained it out and served them up. I'm making Asian food for dinner tonight, so I'm trying to stick with the same theme. We're doing spring rolls for appetizers. I brought these out to the beach club, and I checked on them five minutes later, and they were all gone. For dinner, we're going with Korean food. I have some pork belly and short ribs. 
I'll slow roast both of these proteins in a bulgogi style sauce and serve them with a whole bunch of different sides. I'm doing eggplant, a nice big ginger salad, kimchi, and rice. I learned this trick with green onions. If you take the white end of it and cut it into pieces and put it in ice water, it'll flare out to make it look like a flower. So I'm gonna try that method tonight and use it as a garnish. In the galley, there's not much counter space, so I use the table at the little sitting area to plate all my food. There is a method to my madness. I'll put all the platters and bowls out that I'm gonna use, and as food is finished cooking, I'll plate it up. I'll let you see how the magic works, and once everything is ready, I'll call the crew on the radio and ask them to help run it up. watching for a while, you know I'm not a baker, so I usually do something easy for dessert. Tonight, I'm making a trifle. I got a little helper in the form of instant pudding mix, so I'll make my pudding with that and some milk. Blend it up until it's nice and smooth with my favorite kitchen tool in the world, an immersion blender. When I initially provision the boat, I make sure to get pound cakes and keep these in the freezer and pull them out when I need them, just like tonight. I'll start layering my dessert with the pound cake, pudding, whipped cream, and fresh strawberries. If you're enjoying this channel, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I also do once a month live cooking classes, so if you're interested in those, check the description below. Thanks for joining me and another day as a chef on a yacht. Bye, little chef.